The Volumes of Truth, Volume 3, Born Again, February 6, 2007, from Yahu Shua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for a brother in Christ, and for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, It is written, that none shall enter the kingdom of heaven, unless they are born again. For all are born physically, of human parents, by great travail into a world of sin. So then to enter the kingdom of heaven, one must also be born again, of the Spirit, set apart from this world, and from all that is sin. My son, you are being born again, even now. From the first moment you came to me in repentance, even to this day. For I am faithful. And yet you ask, how can this be? Questioning my words spoken to my servant, where I said, You must be born again and again. My son, I have spoken, and all I have written through my servant Timothy, stands. No contradiction found. Rather it is the understanding of men, which remains lacking. Therefore, if one comes to me in repentance, with sincere remorse over their sins, they shall surely be born again, even again and again as they strive to make their repentance full. Yet I tell you a mystery. It has been appointed to those who are born twice, to die once. But by no means shall they die a second time. Yet those who do not come to me in repentance, shall be born once, and die twice. Yet there are some among this generation, who shall never taste death, having already passed from judgment, into life. Thus to my chosen elect. There is a death of the body unto resurrection. Yet for those still living at my return, there is a death of another kind. The crucifying of your old man with his sinful ways. The putting on of the new man who is renewed in the knowledge of the truth. Restored in the image of him who created him. Thus when one is born into this world, the child and the mother suffer the pangs of childbirth, until the birth is complete. In the same way, those born of the Spirit, shall suffer travail for they are not yet separated, from their flesh or this world, in which they continually stumble. So then being born again, is the process, by which you are restored in the image of God. A continual washing, until you come into glory. My son, I died for the forgiveness of your sins, those of today, yesterday, and those sins of tomorrow. Yet man does continually stumble over his flesh, being tempted in a world filled with sin and so he must continually come to me, and even seventy times seven times, shall I cleanse him, and lift him up. And so to Timothy, I have spoken and said, that he must be born again and again, until I present him to the Father clean. This is not rebirth in the Spirit again and again, but rather the process, by which Timothy sheds the skin of this world, as he crucifies his old man with his sinful ways, and puts on this new man I have given him in me, and dove me. And so there is one rebirth in the spirit, the moment one's heart is irrevocably changed. But many rebirths of man's spirit, because of his continual sin, fear, doubt, and temptation. Therefore, as it was with my servant Shaul, also known as Paul, so likewise shall it be with my servants, of this day. You must die daily. And still in another place you ask, concerning those who teach in my name. Why must these become again, children of God? This is not rebirth in the Spirit, but rather a correction, and a washing. For these have strayed off the path, though they claim to follow me. And when one strays off the path, and follows after the world, teaching in the churches of men, doctrines of demons, I ask you, what father have they chosen, and whose child have they become? And so with a firm hand, I will surely correct and discipline, all those I love, so they may return to me, and become again children of God. For indeed, small is the gate, and narrow is the way into heaven. And no man who thinks himself righteous may enter, called Christian, or otherwise. So then my son, you are reborn in the Spirit, and have embraced the new heart I have given you. But by no means is this birth complete. For you are indeed that fruit, which is still ripening, as you have said. In this you have spoken well, by the wisdom, I have given you. For as it is written, I am the true vine, 
and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear even more fruit. My son, you have bore much fruit in my name, and shall continue to do so, until the day I finish you, the day you become completely new. For as a babe is born naked, and wrapped in soft linens, so also shall my people be reborn, naked, void of the things of this world, clothed in fine linens of white. Behold, the corruptible has put on incorruption, and the mortal, immortality, as it is written, says the Lord.